indenting. That's important, isn't it? Especially if you're using something like Python where indenting is everything. Probably until now you've been using the uh, going to insert mode and hitting tab and stuff like that. You can do it better, and I'm going to show you how to be super quick right now. So inside the terminal, we'll go to this really bunk JavaScript file I made for the purpose of this thing only, I promise. And um, so if we're over here, we can hit greater than greater than in order to indent it just like that. And Vim will automatically indent it the number of spaces that you have set it to. Uh, this can all be set inside your Vim RC file, your Vim configuration file. Uh, I'll teach you how to do that in another episode later, but once you start customizing your Vim, Oh, Nirvana is what will happen. It's so good. But so you can indent with uh, greater than, greater than. You can outdent. Outdent? Yeah, uh, D. Yeah, outdent, I think. Not D dent. That's weird. So you can outdent by hitting less than, less than. The opposite thing. So greater than, greater than points kind of to the right. So it moves it right in the screen. Less than, less than moves it left. That's if you're in normal mode. You have to hit them twice. If you're in visual mode, you can just do it once. So if we have these two selected, uh, whatever, we can hit greater than a single time and boom, it gets indented for us. Uh, de outdenting, oh my gosh, um, will also work the same way with that. So have a ball.